Hey guys, what's up? I'm Terry. I'm Brooke's mom. And she asked me to tell you a story today about when me and her dad won a trip to the Emmy Awards. It was the 39th Emmy Awards. You can see that. But the only Emmy Award I came home with was a picture of one. But we were um, fortunate enough to win a trip. Actually, my mother won it. Me and her were shopping, which we used to do together all the time. And there was this big display for Fox because it was the first year that Fox was putting on the Emmy Awards on their station. So we signed up. We thought, oh, what the heck, you know, sign up. You never know. And my mom's name was picked, but my mom didn't want to go. So she gave it to me and my husband, which was, it was awesome. So anyway, so what we got was um, a trip to Beverly Hills to go to the Emmy Awards. So we had to, my husband had to get a tuxedo. I had to get a fancy dress. You know, because we were going to actually walk up the red carpet and everything at the Pasadena Civic Auditorium. But we, we stayed at a hotel in Beverly Hills called Beverly Hillcrest. So the day of the, the Emmy Awards, we walked up the red carpet just like everyone else. And then we like stood on this balcony and had cocktails and just watched all the stars coming up the red carpet and the limos dropping them off. And they'd come right up, right up by us, you know, because that's where everyone was. This one famous star at the time, which if you're young, you're not gonna know who this is, Victoria Principal, beautiful lady. And she went by my husband, she said, excuse me, because he was in her, in her way. And she kind of touched him as she went around him. And then he's like, did you see that? She was totally checking me out. She totally wanted me. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> she did not, she just really wanted to get around him. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Ooh, shaping it through. Yeah. So anyway, then we went into the Emmy Awards. I don't know about you, but I find them quite boring. Even when you're there, it's boring. And then, um, so a lot of stars, you wouldn't even know probably most of the stars that got these Emmy Awards at the time, because it was 30 years ago. This was in 1987. B. Arthur from the Golden Girls, James Gardner, I don't even remember all the people. It was just crazy. Stars everywhere. And so then after after the Emmy Awards, a lot of the stars go to different parties. Um, one of the biggest parties is called the Governor's Ball. You have to have a ticket to get in and a lot of the people that actually won Emmys go to this. And there's food and there's music and there's you know drinking and stuff. So we, we actually had tickets to go to this. All the winners did. All the winners of this trip to the to the Emmy Awards got tickets and um, so we got to dance and hang out with the stars and I took pictures um, Casey Kasem and his wife Jean actually were the nicest to us we danced with them for a long time like probably an hour and just talked like we knew each other which we didn't at all but they were just super super people we met a lot of nice people actually. Um, and then afterwards, actually we were supposed to take a bus back with our all the people that that won this trip, but they left kind of early and we weren't ready to leave yet. So we just thought we would just get a taxi back or something. So we let the bus go and uh, then we needed to find a ride, you know? But right before we left, I needed to use the restroom so I, I walked down this hallway and this man approached me and he said do you do you need a ride anywhere and I'm like uh, why are you asking he's like well because I have a limo um, Bruce Willis this is his his limo that he rented that night Bruce Willis and his girlfriend at the time Demi Moore who ended up being his wife and they had children together and stuff but he left with her in her limo, so this limo was left sitting there with nobody to take back to LA or Beverly Hills because he had to get back there anyway and he didn't want to go with an empty limo. And so I'm like, well, actually, yeah, we do need a, we do need a ride. You know, I do have a bigger group with me. You know, I had a few other people. And um, because as we were there that night, um, we became friends with this guy, actually two of them, who did um, some of the special effects for Star Wars. And so we were just talking with them and stuff and then they, they wanted to Q 
keep partying. They wanted to keep having some cocktails. So we said, well, if you want to come back to our hotel, we'll just, you know, continue on. So they came back in the limo with us and um, we went back to the Beverly Hillcrest Hotel and hung out until about two in the morning. And uh, I think that's I think that's the whole story. I think that's the whole story. So thanks a lot and don't forget to subscribe and give it a big old thumbs up and I'll see you next time.